Good morning from the top of our little lavish cami. Today is actually the second day of us waking up here and yesterday we woke up to the most beautiful sunrise that flooded warm sorbet colors into our room. And today we're actually waking up a little bit earlier when it's still dark out because we have an excursion out on the lake at sunrise. So we're gonna go and grab some breakfast and get the day started. <laughs> Breakfast this morning was very delicious, very healthy, and we are now heading out for our first excursion of the day. We are going ice fishing, and the last time we went fishing, it was over in the Amazon. It was very hot, very humid, and we were fishing for piranhas. And as you can see, we are in a completely different environment. It's very cold, very dry, and we'll be fishing over a frozen lake. All right, the very first thing we need to do is make a nice little opening in the snow so that we can actually see the ice of the water. About a foot of the way down into the snow, we have hit ice, and it is now time to drill the hole. <laughs> this is the largest drill I've ever witnessed in my entire life, and I'm going to try using it. <laughs> Ooh. Yes! There's my hole. Chad's gonna sit right next to me. <laughs> we have the cutest little fishing pole. So small, so adorable. <laughs> All right, Chad, lower it in. You have to do these very slow movements because the fish are slow because it's so cold. Unlike the Amazon where they're so fast. Yeah. Woo! You got one. No bait, no bait. Oh, I ran out. <laughs> what is that? Dad has caught a leaf. <laughs> it took your bait and left you with a leaf. <laughs> I think my favorite part is actually using this strainer and getting all the ice out. It's so satisfying. So we've been fishing for about half an hour. We haven't gotten anything yet. <laughs> but our tour guide is making a lovely fire behind us and we'll be able to warm up and drink some hot berry juice, eat some snackies. <laughs> <laughs> Life is pretty good. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Sun can shine if the night... How's your arm feeling one hour later? <laughs> Not too bad. It's a very slow motion, so it doesn't take all the energy out of you. But unfortunately, I think there are no fish today, so we'll have to come back another time and ice fish again, and maybe we'll catch something in the future. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Are you going to eat it? No, I'm going to give it into reception. Ah. Oh, nice. I would have taken it home. <laughs> Hang it up on the wall. Wow. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we did not catch any fish, but these two champions sure did. That looks like a great catch, so well done. <laughs> we just finished ice fishing, and while we were walking back up to the resort, we decided to stop and see these cute little horsies behind me. And that big brown one can actually pull eight tons, which is a lot of weight. So these horses are very strong, and they're also very, very furry. So cute and so soft. Also, they're bullying each other, so they were just fighting a little bit, gnawing on each other's necks. Yeah, that was the funniest thing. So this one's only two years old, so he likes to just kind of pick on the older one, and they're just having a grand old time, eating snow and hay, living their best life. <laughs> Oh, their nose is really soft. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Before we go back to our little lapish cami, we're gonna do some sledding. <laughs> this time we're gonna race. I'm gonna take the tube, Chad's gonna take the sled, and we're gonna see who <laughs> makes it down first. <laughs> I'm gonna win. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
All right, Chad's gonna come out this way now. <laughs> oh! All right, here's his redemption try. Oh! Oh, oh no! <laughs> All right, round three. <laughs> yeah. All right, round four. Whoa, yeah! <laughs> We have the rest of the afternoon off before our excursion in the evening. And so we're going to sit here, enjoy some finished sweets, and watch the sunset over the Lapland wilderness. This is our last day here, so we're gonna take it all in. Cheers. time to get ready for our final excursion here in Lapland. So sad that it's coming to an end, but we do have something really exciting planned for tonight. Mm -hmm. We are gonna go on a reindeer sleigh ride under the night sky. <laughs> <laughs> and because we won't be moving too much while on the sleigh, it's gonna be really cold, so we're gonna bundle up. Mm -hmm. We have very different techniques. <laughs> <laughs> I think putting on the socks first yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems better. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have been given the very important task of walking Klava, this two-year-old reindeer, to our sleigh. It's so cute! And I think we're best friends now, right? <laughs> Apparently reindeer don't make any noise. They're, They're just quiet. Yeah. Very introspective. Oh, Pino. Pino is old boy. He's seven years old. Seven wow. Years old. How long do they live for? Uh, about 15 to 20 years. Okay. And they work when they're about 10 or 11. Then they get retired. Oh, I see. The antlers will fall off soon? Yeah. Like this other side has already fallen. So wow. And next week this other one comes off also. Really, actually, really old harness. They were still in the World War II. Oh. Whoa! They used the radius. Very well made. Yeah. What are they made from? It's wood. It's like birch. Oh, it's wood. Old oh. oh. times, they made everything better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just little shivers. <laughs> you look so handsome, Papa. We have begun our reindeer journey, <laughs> but we're actually going into the dark forest, and apparently. Last night, they saw some wolverine. That sounds so scary. <laughs> <laughs> wolverine in the black forest. Is there a wolverine? You can see how that animal sensed something. Like, he got nervous. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hope there, there's no wolves. <laughs> so apparently the reindeer just sensed something in the woods, and they kind of got really nervous, and then they peed. <laughs> <laughs> But there might be some wolves in the forest, so we're on the lookout. Yeah, what do you do if a wolf just comes up and they see these two juicy little reindeer right here? Wow, this is so nice. 60 years ago, people actually live in this gun building here in Lapland. So many people, have you heard? So we are officially having our fourth sausage during our time here in Finland. Yes, and they've all been cooked over a fire, which is always fun. <laughs> it's the biggest fire we've had so far. After finishing our sausages, we came outside and we were just so lucky to see the northern lights tonight. Even though when we got out here, it was snowing, the skies were completely cloudy. So we got super lucky on our final <laughs> night in Lapland. We got to see the northern lights one more time. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> have officially left the forest area and we're now on the frozen lake and this is so beautiful because now there are no trees around you you can see really far out into the distance see little homes that are being lit up by people just enjoying a cozy night in their cabin 
It's so cool. Yeah. And the snow just bounces all the light, so yeah. it's really bright out. Over the past few days, we've been able to mush huskies, see the northern lights, try our hand at ice fishing, and also enjoy a reindeer sleigh ride under the moonlight, all while staying in one of the coolest accommodations we've ever stayed at. Yeah, we wanna give a huge shout out to Apuka Resort for having us. Honestly, this trip will be one that we will remember forever. Mm -hmm. So we will be linking their website down in the description box. So if you are interested in staying here mm -hmm. and having a similar trip, definitely look into it. But with that, we've had a long day of activities and we are going to end this video with a lovely star time lapse. And with that, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.